Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, first of all, I'd like to greet all the participants of the forum and express my gratitude to our guests for being with us today. We have uh, guests from more than 100 countries. More than 500 foreign representatives participate at the forum. This shows that the forum, in a relatively short period of time, transformed into a global platform to address one of the most important issues of today's agenda, issues of cultural dialogue. I remember eight years ago when we held the first forum, probably we didn't even imagine that the forum will get such a broad international support. Our initiative to organize World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue in 2011 was based on our history, our geography, and our understanding that in order to make the world safer, we need to be very active on the issues of promotion, dialogue between civilizations, between cultures, between representatives of different religions and ethnic groups. And broad international support, which was shown to the forum, encourages us. Today, among organizers of the forum, we have leading organizations of the world, and our joint efforts, joint activity, contributes to the cause of intercultural dialogue. Azerbaijan is a place where for centuries, representatives of different religions, ethnic groups, lived, created, communicated. For centuries, Azerbaijan is a land of religious tolerance, peaceful coexistence of representatives of different nationalities. Our history, our geography uh, shows that only in the spirit of partnership, in the spirit of mutual respect, we can achieve success. Today's Azerbaijan's rapid development also is based on this cultural heritage, also is driven by solidarity, which all the representatives of our society demonstrate. We are proud of our history, we are proud of our historical monuments, which also demonstrate that for centuries, representatives of different religions lived, created in Azerbaijan. We are proud of our ancient history. One of the oldest mosques in the world is situated in the ancient city of Shamakhi, one of the oldest churches in the Caucasus is situated in our ancient city of Shiki, the church of Caucasian Albania. Our history is history of cultural diversity. And uh, today, based on that historical heritage, Azerbaijan demonstrates to the world that intercultural dialogue is the only way how to bring countries closer, how to establish more bridges between representatives of different <coughs> religions and uh, civilizations. Multiculturalism, for us, is the way how we live. Uh, this is a relatively new word, but uh, we live in this atmosphere for centuries. And the fact that 2016 was declared the year of multiculturalism in Azerbaijan demonstrates that we want to attract attention of the world to this important idea. 2017 was announced the year of Islamic solidarity. So that was also a symbolic step demonstrating our uh, historical heritage, our roots, and our openness to the world. And I think these tendencies, if they prevail, prevail uh, globally, will make our world safer, more predictable, and uh, more peaceful. Multiculturalism for us also is one of the important elements of our policy and the International Center of Multiculturalism was created in Azerbaijan. And uh, we are promoting these values. We are demonstrating that multiculturalism has a great future. We all know that there are different views regarding this issue, but I think our forum and 
numerous international events organized in Azerbaijan and different parts of the world with this agenda clearly shows that we are all trying to promote the values of multiculturalism. Uh, world Forum on International Dialogue is one of the important international events globally and of course for our country, but at the same time, Azerbaijan during last years hosted numerous international events such as World Religious Leaders Forum, uh, traditional Baku Humanitarian Forum, Seven times we organized uh, Baku uh, Global Forum, which is also a very important platform to address issues of political development and cultural dialogue. That forum is organized by Nizami Genjevi International Center and many other important international events. Thus, we are trying to attract attention of the world community to these important issues. And I'm sure that the discussions uh, at the forum today, tomorrow, uh, will not only reveal the problems and, uh, what you say, allow the speakers to express their views, but also will contribute to strengthening the partnership, solidarity, cooperation, and as a result, will build more bridges between cultures. Last year, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Baku process. This is also an initiative that we are proud of. I remember when we launched this initiative in 2008, and it immediately got very positive international uh, approach and attention. That was for the first time when Azerbaijan gathered together ministers of culture of uh, member states of the Council of Europe and member states of Islamic Cooperation Organization. And uh, more than 100 countries got together in, in Baku in order to discuss the prospects for cooperation. We organized another session with participation of above mentioned uh, ministers in 2009. And uh, this initiative was named Baku Process. And today, Baku Process is one of the most important instrument of dialogue between Europe and the Muslim world. And Azerbaijan, as one of the few countries which is member of Islamic Cooperation Organization and uh, uh, European institutions, is playing its natural and uh, I'm sure positive role in establishment contacts, in uh, providing opportunities for dialogue. Dialogue, what we need. We need dialogue in issues related to culture, in issues related to inter-religious relations. We need dialogue on all the issues, on political agenda, on economic cooperation, on issues related to security. And the name of the forum is dialogue. So that's what we present to the world, and that's what gets very broad international support. So Baku process today is an initiative which is supported by United Nations, by other leading international organizations, and of course, I'm sure that Baku process has a great future. The forums like this, attracts attention of international community to the issues of cultural dialogue. It elaborates new ideas, new approaches, and for those who make decisions in different countries, in international organizations, I think this is a very uh, good and positive platform to make right decisions. Azerbaijan, in this respect, uh, inside the country and outside, conducts the policy which is based on mutual understanding, on cooperation. Uh, we are building bridges. We are situated between uh, Europe and Asia, and our geography, of course, influenced our history and uh, is influencing our today's development. So today, Azerbaijan, as a relatively <coughs> independent, relatively new independent country, plays an important role 
in building bridges between uh, Europe and Asia, political, economic, cultural, and uh, bridges from uh, the practical point of view, like connectivity, transportation. Uh, last year we celebrated 27th anniversary of our independence, and during this period of time, Azerbaijan transformed into a mod modern developing country with uh, <coughs> modern infrastructure and with a very clear vision for the future. <coughs> One of the main problems we are facing for many years is uh, Armenian occupation. For more than 25 years, Armenia continues to occupy our historical land, Nagorno-Karabakh, and seven other districts of, of Azerbaijan. This is brutal violation of international law. Our people were subject of ethnic cleansing. More than one million refugees uh, became homeless as a result of Armenian aggression and occupation. OEC twice sent a fact-finding mission to occupy territories, and their report clearly shows that all our historical heritage, all our historical religious monuments are destroyed. United Nations Security Council adopted four resolutions demanding immediate and unconditional withdrawal of Armenian troops from our territories, and these resolutions remain on paper. So this is one of the indicators that sometimes resolutions of Security Council are not implemented for so many years, and there is no mechanism of implementation, or if there is a mechanism, it is not uh, <coughs> applied, and thus Azerbaijani lands are still uh, under occupation. Numerous international organizations like Islamic Cooperation Organization, Movement of Non-Alignment, OEC, Council of Europe, and other adopted similar decisions and resolutions with respect to territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. Territorial integrity of Azerbaijan is recognized by the whole world and must be restored and the conflict must be resolved based on international law norms, relative uh, United Nations Security Council resolutions, United Nations Charter, Helsinki Final Act, and territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. Despite this huge problem and uh, humanitarian catastrophe, Azerbaijan uh, managed to transform into a modern country with uh, very active foreign policy with uh, economic policy which allowed us to improve largely the living standards of our people. On foreign policy track, Azerbaijan is a reliable partner to many countries. We are active members of Islamic Cooperation Organization. We have very close ties with European Union and with nine members of EU, Azerbaijan adopted uh, documents on strategic partnership. As I said, Baku process is our contribution to establishing bridges between Europe and the Muslim world. Uh, in other words, our foreign policy agenda is based on cooperation, on uh, strengthening partnership, and on mutual benefit. And our foreign policy allows us to implement very important international energy transportation project, because without good cooperation with partners, with different countries, it's not possible to implement this project. Our economic development during the last period of time was also <coughs> supported by our energy projects. And together with our neighbors and with our partners, we managed to uh, connect Caspian Sea with Black Sea, Caspian Sea with Mediterranean Sea by a diversified network of pipelines, thus providing energy security for us, for our neighbors, and for many countries in the world. And today, when we are actively working on implementation of the Southern Gas Corridor, this is a new scale of the project. This project already uh, <coughs> makes it possible for seven countries to get together and to take benefit and take advantage of this. Uh, our economic development during the last 15 years was the fastest 
in the world. We implement very important reforms, uh, which allow us to improve largely the business climate in our country, to attract investments. And according to the World Bank's latest assessment, Azerbaijan is number 25 uh, with respect to doing business program of the World Bank. And uh, business climate is very friendly to foreign investments. We are working now on the strategy of reducing our uh, foreign debt, which is low, it's about 19% of GDP. And at the same time, working on issues related to diversification of our economy and uh, eradication of unemployment and poverty. That was one of the main uh, topic on our agenda because our economic development is transformed into the increase of the living standards of our people. 15 years ago, around 50% of our population lived be below the poverty line. Now this figure went down to about 5 to 6%. And uh, poverty, uh, unemployment, social inequality, illiteracy is one of the, they are one of the sources of uh, radicalism, extremism. And Azerbaijan is a very active uh, partner in the fight against international terrorism, radicalism, extremism. At the same time, we promote to the world the values of Islamic civilizations. Uh, we organize numerous exhibitions, presentations, cultural events in different parts of the world to demonstrate our culture and to <coughs> demonstrate the culture of our partners in other Muslim countries. Uh, talking about uh, connectivity, I'd like to mention the projects which Azerbaijan participates in, particularly the transportation project. We look at this project not only from point of view of transportation connectivity. These projects actually change the atmosphere in the region. They create a broad format for international cooperation. Azerbaijan is situated on the ancient Silk Road and modern infrastructure which we created recently transformed Azerbaijan already into important transit country. And uh, without close cooperation with our immediate neighbors and other partners, it is not possible to become a transit country. You need neighbors, you need partners. Therefore, investments in transportation, they automatically lead to a more predictable situation in the region where countries share the benefits. Our uh, policy is to uh, achieve our goals, to make countries stronger through cooperation, through mutual understanding, and through shared benefits. In our uh, policy related to energy security, we are always trying to find the proper balance between producers, transitors, and consumers, because there should be a win-win situation. Otherwise, it will not work. And uh, we always must be ready to extend support to our partners when they need it. And of course, if we need this support, we also expect the same from our partners. Azerbaijan also is an active participant of North-South transportation network. Thus, if you look at the map, you will see that from North to South, from East to West, the uh, transportation lines cross our country. But in order to do that, we had to work hard. Geography is not enough. Geography only is a prerequisite, is a basic uh, element. But we invested largely to transportation infrastructure, to seaports, railroads, uh, <coughs> airports, highways, so that today Azerbaijan, from geographical point of view, and point of view of transportation hub can provide a lot of opportunities for our partners. Dear friends, today's forum is a remarkable event uh, here in Azerbaijan. I once again like to express gratitude to all our partners, partner organizations, uh, intellectuals, 
politicians, public figures, representatives of uh, non-governmental organizations, representatives of media, uh, scientists who participate at the forum. I'm sure that discussions will be very productive. And as a result of discussions, the recommendations will be provided. And I'm sure that those who make decisions about the future of their countries or regional development will take into account our recommendations and the world will be more stable, secure, and safe. Thank you very much.